Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. And today on the Doctor Spell Prognosis, we're talking about the spell Create Homunculus. I am giving this a big fat F. I do not think this should be a six level spell. I think it is a complete waste. And uh, there, I said it and that's it. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right. Create Homunculus is a six level spell. It takes one hour to cast it, so you will not be using this in combat. It has a range of touch. Okay, I guess you're touching some stuff. Verbal, somatic, and material component, which is clay, ash, mandrugrate, a lot, all of which the spell consumes, and a jewel encrusted dagger worth at least a thousand gold pieces, which I. Uh, that one doesn't say it's consumed, so I guess you could use that over and over and over again. So, speak the incantation, cut yourself with the dagger, take some damage, and you drip the blood on the spell components. You touch them, and they transform into this special construct called a homunculus. So, the statistics over the homunculus are in the uh, Master Manual. We're going to look at those. It is faithful, and it dies if you die. Whenever you finish a long rest, you can spend up to half your hit dice. If the homunculus is on the same plane of existence, when you do so, roll each die and add your con modifier to it. Your hit point maximum is reduced by the total, and it gets the hit points, uh, and its current hit points are both increased. So this process can reduce you to no, longer than, no lower than one hit point, and the change to your and homunculus' hit points ends when you finish your next long rest. The reduction to your hit point max can't be removed by any means, then except by the homunculus's death. So you can only have one of these at a time, and if you cast this spell while your homunculus lives, the spell fails. Okay, so let's take a look at the, the, the massive homunculus. It's got five hit points, which you can raise. The only redeeming thing about this thing is this telepathic bond and shared mind, which I don't know why this right here is actually not up in this um i guess they're clarifying what this says so while the homunculus is on the same plane of existence as its master it can magically convey what it senses to its master and the two can communicate telepathically and then this says it knows everything its caster knows including all the languages you speak and read likewise everything the construct senses is known to its master even over great distances, provided both are on the same plane, functioning as a spy, a scout, emissary, or messenger. All right, so it can, you can send it out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be on the same plane. You can give it some extra hit points, and you can see whatever it can see. You know, you can summon animals and things like that and send them out, and uh, you could scry on them and do the same thing. So... Uh, I don't really see the point. This is not a spell that is worth a six-level slot or a six-level choice whatsoever at all. You know, you gotta you gotta cast this. You gotta have a thousand gold pieces. It is not within the power structure of a six-level spell. It is similar to Find Familiar. It's in the same vein as Find Familiar, kind of, because the homunculus is kind of a familiar. It, um, it should be, which Find Familiar is a first level spell, this should be maybe third. Maybe third level at the most. Not, not sixth level. It just is not the same power. And besides, now, the Artificer gets, you can get a Homunculus Servant at second level Artificer. And um, it's not the same as the one in the Monster Manual, but... Um, it's friendly, it's got a fly speed, it's got more hit points. Um, in combat, it actually does stuff. It's got evasion. Uh, the homunculus de delivers a spell you cast that has a range of touch. It's got to be within 120 feet of you to do this. Um, it doesn't have a limit on the range that it can be away from you. You could scry on this. You could send this out and scry on it, and you'll see everything that it sees. So if we look at the scry spell, which I think we've done this spell already. 
It's familiar with you. Uh, it's familiar to you. So it's something that you can absolutely scry, and it's going to fail. You know, you can to have it fail at save, and and you can see everything around it. Yeah, you can see in here a particular creature you choose that is on the same plane of existence. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. You can tell it to fail, which is modified on how well the target is known. And and I mean, it's a minus ten, and it could be a minus fourteen. Um, you know, so it's super familiar if, if your DM wants to go there, but you could scry on this and you could see everything that it sees at that point. Um, and there you go. I mean, and this is a hundred gold, not a thousand gold. Um, and you can mend it and it'll gain hit points and it's got pretty good. Okay. I guess, um, skills i mean this is a great this is a great little thing i mean it's one of the infusions so i i don't really see the point of this spell i don't think it's that great i don't i'm not going to give it a great grade it's an f i would never take this spell and i would kind of leave it alone all right that's what i got for everybody today i appreciate everybody tuning in and i will catch everybody later